Hey everybody, welcome back to Miner Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm um, Pat. And we're, we're the, the Miner Miner Brothers. Brothers. Today we're doing our review of Penelope Architect Build 5. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, like this video. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below if you've had build number five or what other build is your favorite build from Penelope. Um, check us out over on Patreon as well. We get a lot of cool stuff we're doing over there. And Matt, we haven't really uh, seen this around. This is No, this, they were literally, I watched them put it on the shelves and I was like, oh, let's take a look, see what build it is. Uh, I've seen basically one through four out there. We have a couple other ones over there. I think it's one yep. or two. I don't think we have three or four yet, but we found five and got five. So it's four years old, 104 proof, um, comes in about 60 bucks. And these are all French oak stave finish. So let's see how this thing ends up doing. All right, I'm getting like, so right when I poured this out, I took a quick nose and I got a lot more floral notes. Now it's been sitting for about 10 minutes. I'm getting a lot more of a cream note. I get this like really deep, sweet something. I don't know what to call it. I'm getting a very like I'm definitely amazing a... vanilla cream yep. with like a little floral back note to it. The, I'm, wow! I'm getting, I did not get the cream right off the bat, I'm and now I'm getting it. I'm getting the cream too. I'm not getting any of the floral anymore. Um, but something in there is definitely sweet. I'm, I'm excited to taste this thing. Hmm. Alright, my first note is disappointment. Yeah. I was expecting that nose to really transition into the palette. It was really short. Like the, the finish on this thing, everything is like. Yeah, we gotta do a second sip on this one. Yeah. So I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of that floral that you we originally smelled when you cracked it open. I'm getting a little bit of floral on the palate. I'm getting a burnt oak. Mm-hmm. Uh, not just like a regular oak, but more of a burnt oak. A, a little bit of vanilla. A little bit of vanilla. And it's, it, it it goes away so quick. There's a little bit of spice of like brown sugar. There's something on the finish that kind of lingers a little bit, but most of it just goes away really quick. Yeah, for me, I'm getting pretty much right off the bat. I'm getting that taste of like a burnt oak that's rolling into a vanilla brown sugar, which, and then maybe like a little bit of a floral note and some spice on the backside. Honestly, uh, disappointment. I guess again, I really, really wanted to like this Penelope Architect, and uh, maybe it's just because it's the neck pour. I mean, we did let it sit out, try to air out. Yeah, we gave it a little bit, but but it's just not not hitting that like notes that the, I guess I've been usually going for. Build number one was way better. Yeah, way better than this. Yeah, this one definitely has a little bit more spice to it. Yeah, I just can't get over that like that burnt oak taste. Uh, it, the nose to me was pretty sweet and that cream and I'm not getting any of that in the palette at all the vanilla carries over a little bit the finish I mean the finish is so so quick it's 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 very quick it's definitely like I said I'm just getting a, I'm getting a, it's sort of overloaded with like burnt oak followed by brown sugar hint of vanilla and then I'm getting like a floral spice combo yeah um, so I I don't know it's it's not my cup of tea. Maybe it's everybody else's cup of tea or somebody else's cup of tea. Really yeah. not mine. Um, I'm actually a little... I, I was really looking forward to doing this one and, like, really liking it. I feel a little let down. And I'm a little let down. I mean, I'm not paying $60 again for a bottle like this. Maybe, like, 30 or 40 bucks. It's mm. just not, not doing it for me. I think so. we should almost go back and just compare a bunch of the other ones. 
We can, do, we can definitely try to do that. Yeah. I just I don't know. I feel like I feel like before I had higher expectations for this bottle, and I just really feel let down. I feel like this does not meet the. Yeah, I was gonna say well, well we got it originally from Nate over at the Everyday Drinker. Yep. You know what I mean? And it was definitely a lot better, but this one is definitely not like it's just missing it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's our review. Penelope Architect Build Number Five. Hope you guys liked it. We're doing. Uh, Bourbon every Fridays, mansion every Mondays, and cooking on Wednesdays, so follow us along. Everybody have a good day.